magnificent, isn't it? The new Cutty Sark experience. It's taken five years and 50 million pounds to complete and it gives visitors a totally new way of looking at this wonderful old vessel. One of the fastest tea clippers ever. Well worth a visit, I can tell you. But, like the way so many see the maritime in Britain, it's about the past. And while we can always look backwards to understand why the sea matters, we must also see forward. Seeing forward is all about building interest in the sea. If we can do that, we've laid down the keel for the next generation of seafarers. But, as so often, it's not just about what we do, but how we do it. Starting young is a good start. From sea cadets to apprenticeships, the UK youth has maritime firmly in the mind. So, let's hear from them. Sounds good to me. Let's see forward. because boats need to travel everywhere and boats can travel long and we can learn lots of things about the rivers and seas. I think ships on the sea are very important because they helped us to bring food to our country during World War II when it was very hard for us. This is where all the food stuffs used to be brought into London. Now, before all the war, all right, are you ready? Are you ready? So you're on your way back across the Atlantic again. Ready? Setting sail from New York, let's go. Hold that convoy. We've gone through the wheat and the orange. learning about the ship. We all dressed up with our hats and we all had to talk to each other and then um, we, I was a lookout person so I had to look, at, look out for stuff. I mostly liked when we got to try on the different costumes that the people on the ship wear um, and I got to try on the mask and the gloves called flash gear and if you're like shooting a gun you have to wear it so that the so that the sparks don't fly up in your face. The best thing today was probably when we went on the bridge and I was the port lookout and I had to alert the captain when there was a submarine. If we didn't have no ships, we, we, ha we, we, we wouldn't be able to get food from different countries and we wouldn't be able to get, get loads of things. I joined the Sea Cadets about three, coming up to four years now, and um, I joined solely on the basis that, you know, it's something that's going to lead me to actually become a captain of a ship, which is my overall aspiration in my future career. And I remember my first night I came down here, and it was really interesting. And from that day, I've never looked back. I've always been really interested in the activities that you partake in here. Right, turn it round. Out oars. Stand by, give way, together.
With The Secrets, not only do you have dedicated staff who will help you every step of the way with whatever you choose to do, but they have such amazing courses such as, you know, diving, you have windsurfing, you have rifle drill, you do boating. So there's just a whole range of activities that you can partake in here and obviously you're doing it as a team. And it's, what I do like about it is as well is that you meet new people every time that you go on a course. So overall it just makes it a more friendly and more close-knitted relationship that we have with each other. I'm looking to actually do an apprenticeship p and Cruises, um, which I will be training on board and at college and doing various different activities, um, officially known as a deck officer or deck cadet. Up until that point, I will continue sea cadets because, you know, it's an amazing experience. You gain new friends as well. A lot of people who have joined here, I've obviously never known, but we just formed such a close family and it's been an amazing experience. challenging myself to new experiences and how I react. It's great, it's just a real kind of buzz and as well climbing the sails, I absolutely love climbing the sails. It's just the whole sense of being at sea, just, it's peaceful. Right, you do your right over the left, tuck it under, and you do your left over the right, tuck it under like that. Okay. And it will end up symmetrical, you see Oh Jesus, yes, yes. Not. My decision to join the TS Pelican was uh, through an association I'm with. Um, I jumped at the chance because it gave me a chance to get more experience on bigger boats. Uh, I've been so used to sailing dinghies all my life, um, so I thought this would be a brilliant experience just to learn what bigger boats are like. I thought it was a really good opportunity, so didn't want to miss it. And um, I've always wondered what life at sea would be like, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to take. Obviously living with people so close as this, you make a lot of really strong friends really quickly and uh, just because of the common ground that we have and, uh, and the experience, like I haven't done a voyage like this ever before and it's just fantastic like living at sea and feeling the rocking of the waves and climbing the mast and just doing all these crazy things, it's brilliant, it's a real adventure. People get kind of too comfortable being in their towns and their houses and going to the same places over and over again. The sea makes up most of our world, so it's not something to neglect.